Okay, good day. Our video today is about the Marina DCOC. So, during my travel to Surigao, I uh, apply for domestic certificate. So, this is the DCOC. So, this taken, I issued or I applied for in Surigao City so March 18 2021 to validity for 5 years uh, so why is it the COC now uh, my COC in for use for international uh, it's almost expire uh, 4 months from now or 5 months from now August 2021 so if you are applying for now for international uh, it's quite challenging because uh, some uh, country is not yet open and you will take time to I know that there are a lot of uh, hiring but uh, it could be a quite time to take quarantine for 14 days not like if you will apply for domestic that it's only in the near island and you can travel uh, only few restrictions so my plan is to uh, travel to Surigao so if you go to Surigao I already familiar some places in uh, domestic or inter island because uh, I also uh, my first apprenticeship is also in the uh, inter island so my plan is to travel to Marina Surigao because I heard some of my friends and some of my colleagues that uh, Surigao city is not quite strict so if you travel it's cost from Cebu to Surigao 800 pesos and then the evaluator or the office is not so crowded uh, during my application is I am only the one uh, who are applying so it's not so crowded so it's better to get your DCOC uh, only they will look for your uh, basic training in fact my basic training is almost ex expire and then the evaluator give me uh, the oath of undertaking uh, this one oath of undertaking not all uh, evaluator are very kind so the only select or discretion if they will give you extension for your training or not yes there is a memorandum but if there are too many crowd people and the evaluator is quite uh, stressed or exhausted then he might not give you so it's very good no so my DCOC is already five years and then for some uh, some instructor or myself I already served for as instructor the evaluator himself offered me that even I was not selling for since 2016 to this year and he asked me to just pass my experience as an instructor that is also in the maritime uh, profession so it's very good that the evaluator is much more kind uh, in Surigaos so my COC is 2016 you can see that from 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20 to 21. So that is five years. They almost expire here. 
So I take the DCOC, then another 20 uh, or, or another 5 years. So it's good that uh, you have a valid documents in case there is a uh, opportunity then you have the certificate so that's the good news again if you will take take it on Marina Surigao it's not so crowded you arrive early in the morning 4 a.m. you just walk in marina office and then they will open at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. and nobody nobody uh, it's not so crowded uh, you just photocopy all your certificate and just tell him that you are not from Surigao then it's very kind for the evaluator that uh, he gave me a chance he gave me oath of undertaking in fact my certification uh, as an instructor uh, as I didn't uh, bring it hard copy hard copy so he asked me to call the office and just give the email to Marina Surigao uh, division office so that's a very good news so you go to Surigao, 800 pesos for DCOC, and then uh, not so crowded. Then sometimes they will give you out of undertaking. Sometimes maybe if you are not so polite, then they won't give you uh, what is the privilege for pandemic now. But uh, as I said. Uh, they will give you out of undertaking for some uh, of you that already uh, not selling for how many years but you are still uh, teaching so they will he will ask you f where is your certificate of uh, employment as an instructor then it's credit I don't know this one there's a lot of memorandum but I didn't read but it's depend on the evaluator so it's good in Marina uh, Surigao it's very near uh, very affordable if you travel now the ship is not so crowded because uh, social distancing uh, your bags uh, no more uh, swindler or any stowaway because uh, only few then the travel Surigao to Cebu is every day then that is a very good news okay so that is our topic for the DCOC domestic certificate uh, one more uh, if you have CCM or crowd crisis man management you can they will give you that you can uh, experience for passenger if you have BTOC then you will also uh, on board for tanker not like before that it's need to experience but now they will give you just show your uh, CCM then you can on board passenger you can take BTOC then you can onboard tanker since now I didn't get the CCM because I don't know I didn't also take the tanker because uh, I thought that tanker experience must have experience and the certificate but before you applying if you want more options in your DCOC so take CCM, take also the BTOC or BTOC, then also your uh, COP for this uh, certificate. Okay, thank you and see you next our blog.